Judging by the biological indicators, you've not yet recovered from hibernation. I'll activate the recovery program now. Awake, sleeping beauty? Raven AI has conducted an initial scan of Resurrect. The geometry of the rooms and objects in the module correspond to what you'll encounter on the planet. By the way, it somewhat reminds me of Vita. Can you imagine? It seems like ligaments and other muscles still haven't recovered from sleep paralysis. All right. The numbness should go away now. At least, try to move your head. During the flight, there was a malfunction in the hibernation program that resulted in temporary amnesia and damage to the vocal cords. The damaged nerve fibers and vocal cords should recover during the rehibernation process. Okay, I didn't expect to have to teach a mercenary how to fight, but I have no choice. So, your exosuit is controlled by controllers that you hold in your hands under the suit. Raven will teach you how to control the exosuit and I'll display the targets on the screen. Use the left stick to walk. To open the door to the next stage, press the button. Grace. Please do not interfere in the rehibernation process. Grace, please. You can turn either physically or using the right stick. Adam, I see you're starting to recover from hibernation. Oh god, it's like teaching a baby how to walk. <laughs> I hope all of this wasn't in vain and we actually find this heart of Resurrect. You can turn either physically or using the right stick. Wave your hands up and down while holding the left stick to run. You, of course, are a dangerous and tough mercenary who isn't used to running away from danger. But who knows what awaits you on Razorakt. Access the exosuit firmware interface and change button bindings at any time. To do so, press the firmware access button on the left. You can climb ledges with the grip button. Put your hand on a ledge. Hold and here's my favorite part. Let's remember why you were nicknamed Deadhook. Your gloves have amazing hooks built into them that allow you to fly and also kill. Extend your right arm forward and upward. Press the A button to activate the hook. When the hook catches onto a surface, quickly pull your arm towards yourself to perform a leap. By the way, there are only two rooms in the hibernation module. Nanobots rebuild their architecture every time. Otherwise, your beloved Raven would have swelled to the size of an imperial frigate. You can also release the hook from the left glove using the X button. By the way, the coins in the air are our favorite M coins. Since this currency exists on Resurrect, there are likely intelligent creatures there. That's good news. Do you remember how much cash we spent on Fly Sky on Peter? <laughs> what a great time it was. Take the weapon with the grip button. Activate it by holding the grip and trigger buttons for three seconds. Weapons are printed on 3D printers. Before using them, they need to be synchronized with the systems of the exosuit. Pull the trigger to shoot. I see you're getting into it. You can store weapons in magnetic holsters. To retrieve the weapon, take another weapon. Oh my god, I just remembered how you stole the holographic sphere and smashed those disgusting beetles' heads with both hands. That was great. Grace, if you disrupt the rehibernation process again... Then what? What will happen? Dual-wield 
weapons using the trigger buttons. Hands are occupied with your health indicators are displayed on the wrist and exosuit display. I hope you don't get hurt. I'll be highlighting weak and execution ability. Low on health enemies are glowing white. Pull yourself towards the enemy with the hook to finish them off and gain HP. Wow! How it exploded! But that doesn't mean I approve of your killings. Adam, your exosuit has a built-in aerial impulse generator called Gust. It's a cool gadget. <laughs> I remember how you once knocked out a thug who was bothering me at Hypo with the Gust. the gust. Hold the trigger. Build up energy. Then make a rapid thrust forward. Wow, you're practically a wizard, Adam. Hmm, huh. I wonder what these things are. Alien technology? Use the grab button to take the amplifier from the hollow burn and activate it by holding the grab button for three seconds. Oh, an amplifier! Just a reminder, amplifiers are compact energy containers with upgrades for your exosuit and weapons. Oh, and also, your exosuit has a gut ripper function. <laughs> Laser blades. It charges up after killing enemies. The number of charges for a sword strike is displayed on the back of your right hand. This is your ultimate. Kill enemies to gain ch Activate the ultimate by holding the grip button on both controllers. By sharply swinging the sword, you can dash towards distant enemies. The rehibernation process is completed. Adam, leave the rehibernation module. Raven just conducted a geoscan. Resurrect has extremely low temperatures. No! Can you hear me? I closed the gates. The ship's AI also detected a lot of corpses and crashed ships on the planet. I have a bad feeling about this. System malfunction. Restoring normal operation of energy gates. What the hell? Close the gate, Adam! There's no guarantee you'll find this stone of immortality. We don't even know if it exists. You won't be able to take weapons from Raven with you. They'll disappear when you pass through the energy gate. Grace, if you interfere with the ship's captain, I will have to block your functionality. Where did you end up? What is this strange place? The energy gate was supposed to transport you to the planet's surface? The geolocation was disrupted due to an electromagnetic anomaly. This is a local phenomenon in the depths of the planet, alien to Resurrect. I need to figure out where you are, Adam. Approach the object so I can scan them. Try to find weapons and traces of intelligent beings. Maybe some of them know about the Stone of Immortality? has its own chop Wow, where did this hollow burn storage come from? Let me try to hack it. Bingo! Adam, I've gained access to the hollow burn firmware. They were installed by the miners from a city called Broadcaster on the planet's surface. They call these hollow burns defense posts and install them in case of a sudden enemy attack. The Broadcaster miners dug up this place. According to their records, it's a temple called the Halls of Shogor. It was built by a race of ancients to worship their god. Most of the data is damaged. I'll ask Raven to restore it. The miners blocked the doors for some reason. I hacked them and removed the blockage. You can proceed. There are creatures here that we have already seen in the rehibernation module. I scanned them. They're dangerous and aggressive. Kill them, Adam! If you dodge an attack in time, damn it! There's a pyromancer here. Watch your step. They eat up the air before explode. Keep moving constantly and catch the pyromancers when they teleport.
These creatures are horrifying. In the miners' records, they are referred to as infernals. Explore the temples further so I can learn more about them. Due to the anomaly, the architecture of the temples is constantly changing. Unusual types of infernals may also appear, and the conditions for your survival may change. I will display for you descriptions and names of the fixed anomaly in the rooms that can be scanned. By the way, don't forget that you can release hooks from both hands. It could save your life. in the area before forming a toxic cloud. It turns green.
Beware of the vigilant claw. It's an evolved inferno. This specimen has a strange mutation. They defend themselves with a shield when they get attacked. Use your hooks frequently to avoid their attacks. Here. Their attacks don't deal damage, but if they catch you in their web, you won't be able to use your hooks. Keep moving. Don't let them hit you. Finals in the next room. Ugh, we can take a break. It seems there's some kind of sacred place there.
There are hollow burns here for purchasing weapons and amplifiers, a workbench for upgrading guns, and much more. You can spend them coins. The race of the ancients lived in the dungeons of Razorak several centuries ago. In search of resources, they excavated a branched network of underground cities, tunnels, and temples. According to the records, this room served as a resting place for the ancient warriors. They underwent some kind of trials in the temple. The trial rooms were equipped with numerous traps to test the candidates who wished to reach a certain eye of the ancients for their endurance. I don't know what that is, but it seems that this thing is somehow connected to an anomaly. Hollow burns are the most... Modern self-service points with holographic interface where a space traveler can find everything necessary to ensure their safety and improve the capabilities of their exosuit. Of course, if you have M coins to spend. an infernal grave hopper in the room. If you flip this creature with your hook, it'll be easy.
rooms, brick boxes. Valuable resources are stored inside them. one of the most dangerous enemies. It releases self-guided quads of plasma fire. Shoot down its projectiles in mid-air and aim for its back where the armor's weaker.
poisoned by the Venomancer. Watch your step and quickly run away when the ground beneath your feet turns green. Damn. Those monsters are terrifying. The miners refer to them as infernals in their notes. Adam, are you okay? Your suit is equipped with the reatomization system. In case of critical damage, it splits into atoms and is transported to the nearest biochamber. I wish I had such an exosuit when I was dying. I wouldn't have had to transfer my consciousness to Raven and fly here. Grace, please remind Adam of the ship's functionality. Fine, fine. Let me remind you how you equipped Raven with the money from your contract killings. There's a shooting range on the ship where you can train killing infernals. Next to the training ground, there are panels for printing weapons and summoning enemies. Raven will update their database when you encounter new ones on Resurrect. on Resurrect. They're used to create injections to upgrade the exosuit. I've put together a recipe book for you. The Smuggler's Cookbook. Upgrade your exosuit. I won't let you leave without an injection. Take the tablet and the upgrades injections you want to create. There are... Familiarize yourself with the ingredients in the recipe necessary for the preparation of the serum. In select the component you need using the movable lever. the rotary lever to pour the components into the flask. To mill the components, put the necessary components into the grinder. Place the empty flask in the grinder to collect the processed material. To get the desired result, you need to select, pull the lever down, and the components will be converted to the required resource. Take the flask with the liquid and put it in the centrifuge. Press the start button on the centrifuge to initiate the mixing process. stone as soon as possible. I'm tired of living in digital form. Thank you. 
I deciphered part of the data on Infernals. These monsters are undead, Adam. It seems like they came to resurrect from another reality. Freaky. Due to the anomaly, the architecture of the temples is changing. I'll display information on anomalies in the rooms that have been scanned, and inform you about the weak spots of the monsters you encounter. themselves with a shield when they don't attack. Use your hooks frequently to avoid their attacks.
seems that there are infernals in the next rooms as well. Get ready, Adam. You'll have to fight through.
Madam, you don't blame yourself for my death anymore, do you? It was an accident. Did you have any other choice? That Imperial ship was clearly waiting for us. You wouldn't have made it to the medical center. We were in the middle of open space. If you hadn't transferred my consciousness to Raven, I would have died. There's no sign of the Cordcaster miners yet. I hope we can meet someone alive and find out about the Stone of Immortality. Don't forget to examine the objects. Then I can scan them and tell you more about what's going on here. This is the workbench for upgrading weapons. Place a gun on it, pay to make the weapon more powerful. But remember, the upgraded gun will be lost upon death. the rooms, break boxes, valuable resources are stored inside them.
tunnels ahead. Release hooks with both hands to quickly evade their attacks.
The Eye of the Ancients is guarded by some giant infernal. The Guardian. It has boiling acid instead of blood. What the hell? What's wrong with these creatures? These rooms are called sanctuaries. The priests of the ancients used to perform sacrifices here. <sighs> Sick bastards. It's a good thing they're extinct. I am detecting a significant application of the field causing anomalies. Adam, it seems we're close to our goal. The Eye of the Ancients is somewhere very close. I remind you that the heart of Resurrect should be located near the Eye of the Ancients. By the way, I found out that the eye is a giant purple crystal. The ancients underwent trials with it because they believed it could be used to talk to deceased relatives. This is the workbench for upgrading weapons. Place a gun on it, pay to make the weapon more powerful. But remember, the upgraded gun will be lost upon death. Adam, anomalies have increased exponentially. The source of it is in the next room. Check if you've bought the best weapons and used all possible injections. Oh, get ready. It's gonna get hot. that it was summoned by the Ancient Eye for protection. Source of anomaly identified. Do you see the energy rift in the other room? It's a rupture between worlds. It leads to the world of the dead. Erd. That's how the Infernals got here. Oh, terrible. This anomaly is what caused the architecture of the temple to change. The tunnels that the miners of Cordcaster dug into the temple collapsed due to a rift that opened up between the worlds. It is impossible to reach Cordcaster from the surface. The AI has detected a bioenergy signature of a powerful infernal that, for some reason, opened the energy rift in Cordcaster. The crystal field is blocking them. Opening the door to the chambers of the Ancient Eye. But... But there's no stone of immortality here. Maybe it doesn't even exist. I won't let you go there. Your exosuit won't hold up. Go back to the ship. We'll fly back to Vita. Grace, I warned you. I am limiting your functionality. <sighs> what the hell is happening to me? Adam, I, I'm merging with this damn robot. I can't resist it. Oh, God. 
Command him to stop! Unlocking the motor systems of the exosuit. What? Screw, screw all of you! functionality. What? What else do you want, Adam? I don't want to talk to you. Grace, please fix the malfunction with the doors. I have restored your functionality. Are you satisfied? There are a bunch of reinforced infernals ahead. Closing the rift between worlds had no effect on them. They made it through. The energy barrier is destroyed, and there are no more people left in the city. There's nothing left to do here! I've detected a poisonous fire laser in the room. Its rockets create toxic areas and knock weapons out of your hands. Shoot it down before it reaches you. poisoned by the poisonous fire lies. Remember that if you kill it, it splits into two smaller creatures, and then two more. Shoot its projectiles in mid-flight. I decoded new data about Cordcaster. Essentially, the life of the city was provided by a monopoly corporation, Cold Dream, which owned the majority of drilling rigs on the planet. It maintained the operation of the energy dome and the supply of electricity, heat, and light to the homes of the city's residents. Once, it was a fairly cozy place. But now, the dome is destroyed, and it's extremely dangerous there. Think about it. Do you want to return to Cordcaster again? Maybe we should fly away.
found a list of tasks for Cordcaster soldiers in their database. They mostly involve killing infernals. There are rewards offered for their heads, cool guns, amplifiers. I thought you might want to participate too. <laughs> 